Hello, Will. Uh, I appreciate you coming uh, to Espresso New Year's interview. Um, we now, I will start with the question about your first half season here. It, it, it has been uh, like four or five months of, yes. uh, since you came. How do you feel? How do you feel about your first half season in Partizan? Uh, actually, I feel pretty good about it. Uh, I was able to play pretty good, pretty solid, uh, help my team, give my team a boost. And uh, I'm doing the things that coach knew that I could do. And uh, it shows on the court. Um, you lived in Italy for years. <laughs> Bologna, Fre Ferentino, Legnano, Trieste, am I, am I right? Yes, yes. Uh, what are your impressions from Apennine Peninsula? What are your impressions from Italy uh, that you brought here? Uh, <laughs> I guess I, I would say the same excitement when it comes from Italy. The same uh, excitement. Same things I do everywhere I go. Uh, and I'm a very humble type person. So I think that shows and uh, the people tend to uh, dwell towards it. And it's just uh, something that I want to keep trying to do. And their basketball culture, is it similar to ours? Yes, it is. It is similar. Uh, being in A1 is uh, from the physicality of the game, the sport uh, is very physical. Uh, it's a fast movement. And uh, I see the similarities with it, uh, especially since uh, the coach, he's also been in Italy, playing for Italy, uh, coaching in Italy. So I think he's bringing some of that same style to the game. And um, how, how did a guy from Louisiana with good stats in college career end up in Italy and in Serbia? What, what was your road to there? Uh, well, my first year uh, starting out in Bologna, uh, is I just tend for this, to get, I made a good impression, I guess you could say, in Italy. So I have kept receiving offers in Italy and also I was going through a change with my agency. So uh, in, in during that time, I, I had some ups and downs, uh, knee surgeries, things like that. But I, uh, they always gave me a chance to play no matter what and uh, I'm thankful for that. And uh, be, now be honest, there is no wrong answer. Uh, where do you like it more, in Italy or in Serbia? <laughs> well, I'm going to say this. I haven't been in, in Serbia as long as I've been in Italy yet. So I'm still waiting to see. Uh, but so far, I, I love Belgrade. Uh, the people are nice to me. Uh, it's a lot of things to see. I, uh, I, my family loves it here. And uh, the difference is uh, the cold weather, but being in Italy, I can get some cold weather here and there. Even though I'm from Louisiana, we don't, we don't like the cold weather. But um, I, I can't say I have a best right now, so I'm still in between the both. And what do you like most in Serbia? Well, uh, I would have to say, I have to say the basketball. I love the basketball the most. Uh, the, the, the players, from the players to the older players, uh, I just love the, the sport. And uh, what, do, what don't you like about Serbia? Is there anything? I have no dislikes right now. I have no dislikes besides the cold weather. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, do you miss USA? Do you miss home? Do you miss Louisiana? How is life in Europe treating you? Uh, in my early career, I used to miss home a lot, but I've been doing it so long now, and uh, my family travel with me a lot. I tend to shy away from home, because even when I go back home, I don't stay at home. I still travel and go different places around the U.S. So uh, right now, I, I, at this moment in my life, I don't miss it much. I like seeing the world, so I keep it moving. Uh, how is it like uh, working with Andrea, with Andrea Trinchieri? <laughs> it's different. <laughs> it's cool, but uh, I hear a lot of stories before I come. And, uh, he called me before I actually uh, came out here to play and he told me everything. He been knew my background and everything like that. And we have a pretty good relationship. Uh, he's a solid coach, great coach, great resume and everything. And he's a great guy all around. And. Um how do you like your Serbian uh, teammates? Did they help you when you came here? Uh, how are they? 
with you because they are talking very good things about you Americans this season. Yeah, oh yeah, uh, especially uh, Gorda. Uh, he, uh, he sits next in the locker to me, so he was able to help me out with a lot when I first came, like where I want to buy food, what's the different stores I can go to like that. And when it came to the basketball point, the team captain, Noli, he, he helps me out a lot. He's always communicating with each of the players on the team, and I love that. And you said food. What's your favorite Serbian food? <laughs> you, I, I, I started getting pasta. <laughs> Even though that's the Italian way, I know I know it's the Italian way. But right now I've been doing a lot of pasta still. Uh, I had a few different, the, the meat, the Serbian meat, when my teammates bring it. It's pretty good. It's pretty solid. But I'm still a pasta guy. <laughs> yeah, we are very proud of our food. But we like pasta also very much. And... Um, but how do you like our sense of humor? Uh, do, you, do you understand it all the time? Not all the time, but most of the time, because I, I have one teammate that he do a lot of jokes. Uh, but it's, it's, it's something I love, because I'm, I'm a guy that like comedy. I like humor. I like to see people smile. And to have that, it just makes you feel good, you know? It just makes you feel very good. Did you maybe remember some joke? <laughs> uh, uh, with the jokes I think of is 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 too crazy to say on, on the interview, but yeah. I'm gonna have to keep it. But uh, I can't remember any of the, the nicer jokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you, did they, did your teammates tell, tell you some American jokes, maybe or like Euro American jokes? Uh, I haven't heard any of the American jokes, but okay. all of them was the Serbian. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, who called you to come to Partizan? And did you speak to any other foreign players about it before? Uh, I have talked to uh, some of my old teammates uh, about the team before I came, when I noticed that uh, they had interest. When my agent first told me, you know, right after uh, my agent told me, I got the call from coach uh, Andrea, as I told you, and he told me everything. And, how he, what he looks for, and he know the type of player I am, and he just wanted me to come and play my type of game. So uh, I was ready to come, and uh, he believed in me. He gave me the shot, and I, I'm here today. Is the pressure very high on you and Rashawn Thomas because uh, Partizan doesn't have a, like, real center, as they say in Serbia? Mm. Yes, uh, and it, there was a lot of pressure when I first come because, you know, I'm an undersized big man. This is a big club and they don't know uh, how I would do under these type of circumstances. But uh, it, it's kind of leveling out. We still got pressure because we want to win. We want to win the championship, but I'm pretty confident that we can do that. And um, did you know something about Partizan before you come or, or just the coach? Yeah. I, told you? I, uh, I only knew like some of the, 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 the games, I watched games before, but I wasn't really following. So it wasn't much I knew until I came, actually came here. And uh, I presume you, you knew about Grubber, you knew yeah, about they was Yeah, <laughs> they was telling me about it. And a lot of, I get a lot of messages uh, too, also before I come, and I still get a lot of messages. And I'm just happy they love me, man. And I, I play so hard and they notice it. We talked after the, your first Eternal Derby where you had a very good game and they sang your mm -hmm. whole name. Mm -hmm on the stands and you told uh, that it was very good uh, impression for you. How do you feel now when they continue? It's still it? a great feeling, man. I love when they do it and uh, they normally do it after something great I do on the court. And I just, something like that gives you more energy. It gives you an extra boost to keep playing hard. And um, what do you know about Virtus? in this moment because you will play against them and what do you know about Trento in this moment because <laughs> you are also playing? Well, uh, I played against both of those teams last year so I, I know them pretty well. I know a few of the players on the team, a lot of old teammates. Uh, Virtus, Bologna, one of the uh, guys on that team, David Cornu, he was on my first team when I played in 42 though when it was in A2 and so we we had a pretty good relationship and I'm looking forward to the game so of course we talked to each other about the game coming up and with Trento my, my old teammate from last year 
and he's going to be my matchup. So that's a pretty big game for me. <laughs> and uh, but uh, we're just ready for it to come. When it when it come around, we'll be ready. We're going to do a lot of things and practice, watch some film, and uh, we'll be ready to take them on. You know that uh, Virtus coach is a legend of Partizan mm. and Serbian mm. basketball, and uh, Miloš Teodosic and uh, Stefan Marković also. What do you think about them? Oh, great coaches. <laughs> great coaches. So I know it's going to be a tough game because they put together great plans. Uh, I see Virtus Bologna is the top of their league right now. So I know it's going to be a tough fall game. Uh, and what are your expectations about Euro Cup Top 16, about ABBA League and about Serbian League in the end? Well, first and foremost, I want to win them all. <laughs> I, want to, I want to finish on top of them all. Uh, the, we had a great uh, first round in the uh, Euro Cup. Now this second round, it should be a little bit more tougher, but we're, I think we're one of the top teams still. And uh, I think we're, pick, we're one of the favorites to win, if, uh, I think, in the top three and we're going to show that we can do it. In the game versus Primorska, the last one, the, uh, you had some great moves, but that blocked shot is like the thing everybody liked the most. How do you jump that high? <laughs> oh, I'm blessed. <laughs> uh, it's, I'm just, I got pretty good timing. And some of those things you can't teach when it comes to like timing and things like that. And I've always been a defensive player all my life, uh, ever since I started playing basketball. And I have a great eye for things like this. And uh, my teammates tell me I should have played volleyball <laughs> because of the way I blocked the shot. Uh, but that's just what I do, man. And uh, we saw that you could even do it uh, without uh, a run-up, if, if my verb, word is correct. That you can jump very high without a run-up. Yes, yes. Uh, do you train that? or? Back when I was in college, we actually did have drills for me to do work on uh, those, like leaving the ground pretty quick. So quick reaction, basically. So I, I slowed down on working on that uh, as a right later on because uh, it just keep coming. It's coming more and more natural to me. But sometimes, yeah. Uh, to get back to the game with Primorska, just for one more question, Novica Veličković, who you Told, told about uh, broke a record. He is uh, the leading partisan scorer in the 21st uh, century in a, in Aba League. Uh, so, do you have something to say I to him? I didn't know that, but that's big time. I tell him all the time. He's a legend, man. I can only imagine when he was younger. I would hate to play against him. <laughs> I would really hate to play against him. He's so good, so good. And uh, what do you think about Aba League as a competition? Oh yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, we have a few teams right now that's going through a little something, but overall the competition has been pretty solid this season. I, they told me uh, how it was last season, but it's been pretty solid this season. And did you maybe read the news today about the, some problems on relation uh, relationship with Budućnost and Red Star? that Red Star isn't uh, going to Podgorica? Yeah, yeah, I, I actually just heard about it. but. Uh, uh, I have no thoughts on it. <laughs> and uh, you accomplished so much in your career for now, but do you still have some basketball dreams? Oh yes, big dream. Uh, overall, I want to make it to Euro League. I know it's been a, from starting in A2 in Italy to come to Euro Cup now, it's been big for me, but I want to keep pushing and I want to win a championship. I never had a championship and that is something I really want. Did you ever dream of an NBA career? Of course, of course. I think all of the <laughs> basketball players dreamed of it one day, but uh, it, it didn't happen for me. But I'm, I'm okay with that because I'm making a life over here. And, uh, before, uh, when I was in high school, I never thought about overseas. It was until after uh, I got to college, whereas I actually started knowing more and more about the overseas game. And I love it. I love it. You get to travel the world, meet a lot of new people, and I love it. Will, in the past, you had a personal tragedy. How did you cope with that? Uh, it was tough, but uh, I had to be strong for my wife. Uh, so I was able to put all the, all the weight on me and I tried not to let her see me in a sad, down moment. So uh, it was pretty tough because it happens while I was in the game. And when it's, when it's dealing with something like that, there's not much you can do, but you gotta go through the time. As the time goes on, you get better and better with it. 
And how can somebody that young cope with something like that? Yeah, yeah it's very difficult. So it took a long time, but at that time I had uh, my coaches, they all had my back and uh, we talked and everything, talk out about what happened. Uh, they said, told me if I ever needed anything, I could call them. So whenever I had a problem or I felt like I just was sad, I would call and talk to them and they would keep me through it. You now have uh, your son, everybody is talking mm -hmm. uh, that he is very cool. Yes. Everybody from the club. <laughs> now everything in your yeah. life is back to... Yes, this is a lot better and uh, he's a big part of it. He's a big part of it. I, I, I almost shed tears when he was born because it, to me it's, it's a miracle basically to have a, a child born and to be healthy. And, they tell me he's a split image of me. He's very funny. He's a character, man. I love that guy. <laughs> well, thank you. I wish you everything the best in New Year. And uh, for, for the end, what do you wish to my readers? Ah, I hope that you enjoyed the interview and uh, Happy New Year. And uh, we want to bring home a championship. Thank you. Thank you.